is American mediation now absolutely no longer in question? No, but I think it's even more jeopardized than it was before, where it was hard to believe uh, that the negotiators that were out there working for President Trump were making any real progress. And so while the Middle East has constantly astonished us by getting worse when we feel it can't, I don't think that that's necessarily an argument here to say that our negotiation is entirely in part because we have still a quite unique relationship with Israel and the Palestinians and the rest of the Arab world, even though this is quite damaging to that latter relationship. And it will take time. We'll have to see where it will go. But because of our unique relationship with Israel, no one else has the potential for influence, but no one else has been less assiduous in your using that influence with Israel to get peace. So and yet, it's a real controversy. Yeah, I mean, the, the Palestinian prime minister has said, you know, we will not accept your patronage anymore of the peace process. Mahmoud Abbas came out yesterday immediately and said, now the U.S. has really played itself out of the game. But does, does the U.S. still want in? Is there a Jared Kushner plan? I wish I could say I was hopeful. And two weeks ago, when in fact the administration said it would not move on the Jerusalem embassy, Jerusalem capital thing, out of respect for Jared Kushner's work, I was somewhat buoyed. That's now turned around in a way that certainly is extremely negative, particularly in the near term, for U.S. influence in affecting uh, the uh, uh, Israel-Palestine workout that the president hopes for, but now seems even much further away.